Okay, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. Speed editor versus the tour box. It's going to be quick and dirty. Here's the deal. I really like the speed editor. This freaking jog wheel is awesome. Uh, it, it's nice to have access to all of the quick buttons, so on and so forth. And it's, it works really, really well as long as you're working in the cut page. If you do anything else, not so much. And there's no programmability in this service. It's, it just is what it is. Everything's preset. On the flip side, we have the tour box. Totally programmable, every aspect of it. Um, it works in every page, regardless. Um, so, uh, honestly, the tour box wins hands down in this battle. If I was going to have to recommend one or the other to a friend of mine, it would have to be the tour box. Literally, because it's more usable, generally speaking. Um, I don't know why, but uh, unfortunately, Blackmagic has not made this thing fully programmable. Maybe it's an engineering limitation on the inside. But, um, I mean, really, Blackmagic, you should seriously have a look at the tour box. These guys got it right big time and uh, I mean the only reason I would ever recommend anyone getting a speed editor at this point is for the copy of uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio and Fusion Studio. I, I mean there's literally nothing else that I could recommend the speed editor for at this point because the tour box does everything as good if not better except in the exclusive instance where you are working on the cut page. That's the only time the speed editor would be superior than to the tour box. So um, yeah, really like the tour box. Uh, as a matter of fact, I haven't used the speed editor since I got the tour box and it's probably been two or three weeks at this point. Um, and I see absolutely no reason to go back to using the speed editor unless there's some dramatic improvement in usability. So, Tourbox has got the epic win this time.